Hey guys, MC Fix It here. We're going to be working on a Star Roadrunner. This is a understable fairway driver. And going to make it into a really cool dyed disc. Um, it should look really cool because that star should accept it. It is used. You can see it's got some dings and dents and scratches as we've played. I've played with this for a while. I'm going to walk through all the tools and supplies that you need. Uh, first and foremost, you want a pie pan. Make sure it's at least 9 inches. A little bit bigger is even more helpful. A Mr. Clean Eraser um, or at least some Dawn dish soap and water mixed together to clean up your disc. Plenty of paper towels. Have a bunch of gloves available. I like to use some kind of like press and seal or saran wrap to cover this uh, as it is sitting for 24 hours. And you can reuse this. We're going to be reusing this uh, bed of glue. And so we're going to be using clear glue. Make sure it's clear. Seems like it works a little bit better. Acetone. Uh, you will need a lot of acetone because you will be mixing your dyes as well. And so we're going to be using Pro Chemical and Dye. I'm going to put a card right here. And there will be a link in the description on exactly how I mix these with acetone and all the li uh, links that you need to do this yourself. Um, and so each one of these has been mixed with acetone. Make sure you get good mason jars. You will want eyedroppers as well. This is how we're going to drop it. You will want a container with acetone. And tons of like toothpicks, you can even use like bamboo sticks. I've used those before. They're kind of hard to do on the video because you always hit the camera. Uh, but overall, whatever kind of works for you, this one you can tell I've used quite a few different times. Make sure again you have paper towels. Super essential to be cleaning this stuff as you go. First thing you're going to do is go ahead and grab your disc, that magic eraser, and clean off your disc. Now that you've gone ahead and cleaned your disc, you can go ahead and set up your workstation. I like to kind of move stuff out of the way I don't need right this moment. It just kind of helps me out, uh, makes me a little less cluttered and stressed. Next thing you're going to do is go ahead and remove this right here, this saran wrap for press and seal. And if you can try to save it, that's great, especially on these kind of old Pyrex ones. It's pretty easy to save. You can tell this one has been used quite a bit. Um, you can see some of the glue, and you're going to want about a quarter of an inch to an eighth of an inch of glue. And so, go ahead and take your glue. I always add a little bit each time. So, if this is the first time you've poured it, or you've been pouring on top of what I'm doing just like this, you go slow, because if you go too quick, it will create air bubbles. But you have toothpicks, and we're going to be using quite a few of them throughout this video. And so, go ahead and look for air bubbles. You almost always have some, and my technique that I do, you can pop them, you can use a blowtorch if you want. There's acetone in this from before. I try to stick away from the blowtorches unless absolutely necessary. I do know a lot of people think that it pops it and does a really good job. So when I find one, I go ahead and get it, and I just push it to the edge. And about 80% of the time that works, maybe even 90% of the time. There's another one there. And if your air bubble is at the very, very bottom, I'm not as concerned. You can see... We got quite a bit of glue on there, so just make sure you're going down and poking. And I like to bring it over to the edge. And then you can go ahead and open up each one of these very carefully. Uh, this is fire red. It's a very kind of bright red. And I put the cap, and then I put my eyedropper on top of it. Then we're going to use some pansy, which is a kind of a purple color. It actually looks very similar to the color of this disc. You're not going to see a lot of this show up, but it's okay. Um, this is a darker disc. Anytime you die with a darker disc, you're not going to see everything that you're going to with a light disc, especially a white disc or even a clear disc. It's just not going to do that for you. And if you're wanting that effect, buy a different color disc and dye it. And this is eye, eye 
dye poly black. Um, I was unable to get black from the uh, Pro Chem and Dye, so this is going to kind of be a test to see if I even like this. I dye poly. Make sure it has the poly in it. And I do put these in little Ziploc bags and kind of tape off the end. I'm going to try my best to make this as symmetrical as possible. But with these droppers, I tend to always fail at some point. You do not want to go all the way down to the bottom and soak stuff up. You're just going on the very top of the surface. And so, I do the same thing over here. Then I'm going to try to put a ring of purple around that. Sometimes I'm better at it than other times. Go very close to the actual bed of glue without going in. Perfect. Let's transfer the same kind of concept over here. Perfect. So then we're going to do the same thing with the blue. This is why you wear gloves. You can see I've already got some on my hands. This stuff does stain very, very much. So please do be very careful. Same concept. I am just barely putting any pressure on this dropper and letting kind of gravity do the majority of it. Just want another little drop there and one here and then kind of fill in some of these spaces because I got a little too wide. Perfect. And then I'm just going to put a touch of black right here and right here. That's all the black I want to add. And then you can grab whatever kind of mixing tool you want. Uh, one of the things you want to do is when you're mixing, you either do a lot of times circles, figure eights, or straight slashes. Uh, I'm going to pull from the red outward each time. Um, and multiple times and so I'm going to go ahead and grab this paper towel folded in half so I can go from the red I'm going to go red all the way down kind of to the center red all the way back kind of to the center and do this a few different times So I've decided that's what I want to do. I'm going to go just stop in the purple on this one. And stop in the purple and come up. Red and stop in the purple. Red and stop in the purple. And then kind of the same thing. Red, stop in the purple. Red, stop in the purple. And again, I'm kind of cleaning every single time. I'm not certain if you're seeing that, but every single time that way when I do it, it works how I want it to. Now I'm going to just barely go on the top of the surface on this black and just kind of score it out. I didn't want that black to leak all over the place. So that's why I kind of did that last. And if you like how that looks, go for it. But I'm actually going to touch it up a little bit more. Then I get a couple of pulls just from the purple outward. Because I'm not going through any other color, I don't worry as much about the color changing on this. Just to give it some cool other effects. Okay, I like how that looks. And so now kind of the next step is to decide what you want to do with this. How do you want this to sit? Do you want it to be like a 50-50 split? Do you want it to be a top and bottom? Um, I try not to match it up too much with this because I feel like I always get off center more. So the next thing I do, go ahead and clean off your gloves, especially because I didn't mean to flick off the camera. I have red right there. Go ahead and make sure you're nice and clean. Also, if you have any big imperfections on the disc, that kind of dictates as well, especially being used. And so when I do this, I like to put it down about at a 45 degree angle, put the right side and then put the left side down. I think I'm just going to do top and bottom and just let it kind of almost like starburst on both sides. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And so I put the right side down first, let it hit the glue and carry it over to the left side. 
and I'm somebody who wants it to the edge of the rim and so I do put a little bit of pressure not a whole lot to get it to the edge of the rim just like that all the way around this thing is just a touch more perfect uh, then I go ahead and saran wrap this thing back up I do lots of different projects you can see that on my channel um, got quite a few of them coming up in the next week or two and so I don't want sawdust I don't want car parts or anything like that getting all over this and I put that on backwards that's why it's not cling wrapping well so here we go and so this just keeps it down especially because I have to let this thing sit for a minimum of 24 hours uh, then I go ahead and get the acetone and you do want these on very very tight there's no that's not a coincidence why that was so hard for me to get that off uh, then I go ahead and just bring it up in it and bring it back down and you're going to do this in each and every one of them. I know this looks like it's got dye in it, and it does, but it's because I've used it probably five or six times. So probably the next time or two, I'll probably change this out. But the goal is this just gets this nice and clean. Go ahead and screw your cap back on, and then go ahead and do that with all of these. Again, let this sit for 24 hours, and we'll be back in a few seconds in this video, but know that it has sat for a full 24 hours. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do this disc. It's been out and sat in for at least 24 hours, probably more like 30 hours, just because how the time I started this and the time I finished it. Go ahead and cover this back up really nicely, and I like to just go ahead and get it out of the way. That is glass, so your pie pan does not break, and we can go ahead and turn on the water. And you can see the the layer of glue so I just sometimes just rinse it off with my hands just like this or if you have like an old paper tower too you can go ahead and just hit it up once with that just to begin to, to get that off and once you kind of got that first layer off you can go ahead and use some water and Dawn dish soap I would discourage you from using a magic eraser unless you like just buying a bunch of them because it kind of will clunk up that magic eraser I'm at an outdoor sink, so the volume normally is not as good out here and the quality. Um, you may even hear some birds singing because it is the morning. And so go ahead and clean up your disc. This will help get any of the extra dye off as well so it doesn't get on your hands. Since this is a fairly used disc, you want to make sure you get the rim really well because that's where normally where you get like cracks and dings and dents when you hit trees like I always do. And just go right over the stamp and everything and you notice how the stamp has become visible now it kind of looked like I ruined it a little bit at the very beginning that's pretty common with these glue ones because you still have some residue on it but typically the stamp shows up really well and so that went from a really boring stamp and also sometimes you get these little boogers along the edge that's what I like to call them make sure you pull these off um, that only happens um, if you normally let it sit for more than 24 hours like I said this one was just a little bit longer just because of my work schedule and stuff and so we will want to work on getting that off there's still just a little bit more but I'm gonna get a fresh paper towel because sometimes that helps sometimes it doesn't but sometimes it just doesn't have as much other stuff on it and it helps it come right off as you kind of work the edge there it goes and so you're just making sure everything looks really good on there one last final cleanup and that turned out pretty sweet man this turned out really well now that you can come back inside and kind of see all the different colorations that it has remember we used the black the red that's fire red pansy and that flag blue on a purple disc which is kind of hard to sometimes do well um, but i think the way it worked out really really makes it pop this thing will look really cool when it's flying in the air too. And so this is that Star Roadrunner. If you do have any questions, please put them in the comment section below. If you want any of the links to anything I've done in this video, pretty much everything has an Amazon link or that Pro Kim and Die link. Uh, so you have the ability to get and be able to do this yourself. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, I encourage you to go ahead and subscribe. That really does help my channel out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate it so much.